Realtor.com is out with its monthly housing report, and it reveals home sellers increased listing activity in September, with 11.6% more homes listed compared to last year. That's a three-year high. Incomes as mortgage rates have generally been on the decline and following the Fed's big 50 basis point cut. Here with more insights, we've got Danielle Hale, who is the chief economist at Realtor.com. Danielle, always a pleasure to grab some time and get some of these insights here. So, so break down the findings here among listings and are we seeing any improvement on the listings that are on the market getting bids and for how long they're staying on the market too? Yes, there's a lot of momentum in September. Um, the focus in our report this month was on those new sellers. So we call them new listings. Those are sellers that decided to put their home on the market in September. They were up 11.6% compared to a year ago, which is a nice improvement because in August, we actually saw that number tick down slightly. So more homeowners are deciding that now is the time to sell uh, relative to one year ago. It's important to note that in September, we typically see the market slow down. So this is still a slower period, but uh, despite that seasonal shift, we are seeing more homeowner sellers get into the market. So that's a good thing for buyers. Um, even though we saw more sellers, we saw homes take a little bit longer to sell. In fact, a week longer compared to one year ago, which makes this September the slowest September that we've seen in five years. So buyers have more time to make decisions in the housing market right now. This adds to their advantages because fall is typically a slower period. It's often what we call the best time to buy uh, in the housing market. And so buyers have a lot of advantages seasonally and some even even greater advantages thanks to the shifting market momentum. Slowest September in five years, Danielle. What does that signal for, or, or what's that done ultimately for the housing prices, home prices during the month? Yeah, interestingly, even though the market has slowed, we haven't seen prices relent much. At the median level for listing prices, we saw a drop of 1% compared to a year ago. It's very, very modest. And if we take a closer look at that median price and uh, break it down by square foot, we can see that we actually had more smaller homes hit the market, which helped bring that overall median down. On a price per square foot basis, home prices actually ticked up which might explain why if shoppers are looking in the market, they don't feel like homes are actually getting less expensive. If they're looking at a similar sized house, it actually did get more expensive in September, even though the overall median went down. The fact that the overall median went down tells us there's more smaller homes on the market. So if you've been looking for an entry level home, you're likely to find a bit more of them on the market now. So that could be a good sign, but it's not likely to be much less expensive. You know, when we were just discussing uh, with our senior reporter, Claire Boston, about mortgage rates and, and ticking higher just a little bit, do you expect mortgage rates to continue to tick higher, especially as we've been watching for the markets and the digestion of where economic data is moving and suggesting that the Fed might not be as far behind the curve as thought previously or as feared previously, uh, which means we might see less deep cuts in the future as well? Yeah, that's certainly possible. When the Fed made their projections in September at their meeting, they were pricing or they were anticipating 50 basis points in additional cuts uh, between September and the end of the year. They have two meetings. That's a 25 basis point cut roughly each meeting. The market, however, was anticipating 75 basis points of cuts. There is a gap between those two projections. Somebody's going to be right. Somebody's not going to be right. And based on the jobs data that we saw today, it's looking like maybe the Fed's projection is going to be right. So I expect we're going to see the market shift and try to squeeze out some of those cuts that had been anticipated. And we may see mortgage rates tick up a little bit higher. But taking a step back and looking at the big picture, even though mortgage rates did tick up, they're only a few basis points above the lowest levels in two years. So they are still in a very favorable position. And if we look at this week's uh, mortgage application data, we saw that purchase mortgage applications actually ticked up for the second week in a row compared to a year ago. And that's the first uptick that we've seen in that data in three and a half years. So uh, I think even though mortgage rates ticked up a little bit, they're in a better position than they have been. And buyers are starting to react to that information. Danielle Hale, who is the Realtor.com chief economist. Danielle, thanks so much for taking the time here today. My pleasure.